Hey there, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I recreate this beautiful style. In one of my last tutorial, I showed us two ways to cut a circle dress. I'm going to be using the first method here. If you don't understand this video very well, you might want to watch that video to understand how I placed my fabric, right? So here, I have my two and a half years of African print folded into two. Then I'm going to be folding it again, triangularly, the way you are seeing it, seeing me doing it here now. So just fold it the way in a triangle form, right? Then align it very well properly the way I'm doing now. If you are here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do wear to hit on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell. So here I'm marking the shoulder measurement divided by two, which is eight inches. And I'm trying to rule it here. That's what I'm doing here. Then go ahead to connect a line down away from the edge to form your armhole line, right? I will be using a neck width of three inches. I'll mark it on the shoulder line. Then I'll mark the neck depth for the back one inch. Then for the front, three inches. And I will connect the lines. I will come down half an inch at the end of the shoulder point. For my slope then i will connect my neck width to it i'm going to come down seven and a half inches from that half an inch and this will serve as my chest line then i will mark my ball circumference divided by four which is nine and a half then i'll add one in for size seam one in for seam allowance then i'll mark the midpoint of my shoulder the seven and a half inches i'll mark the midpoint of it then come in half an inch that will be serve as my armhole curve right so i'm going to connect the lines with my curve ruler the neck width i'll mark half an inch up this will serve as my shoulder seam allowance also at the slope i will also go up half an inch then connect the two lines together with my straight ruler. Now I will place my tape rule on that neck width and measure down the length, the gun length, right? Here I'm, here I'm using 37 inches. After which I will take the, the tape rule up so that I can have equal length on both edge. So I'm going to measure from that edge to where the 34, 37 inches stopped, which is, now I have 47 inches. I'm going to rotate that and mark it round. Just like what I'm doing now. Now I've marked it already. So I'll get my long ruler and connect the two inches that we added to the edge of the, the dress, right? Cut this out starting with the back neck depth. After cutting this, I'm going to remove one of this and that will serve for the back. I'm removing one now. Then I will refold the second one. That will serve for the front. Then I will mark my neck depth for the front, which is the three inches, right? I'm connecting the three inches. Then for the opening at the front, I'm going to come in quarter of an inch. I'll mark quarter of an inch. Then measure down four inches for the opening. Then I'm going to cut the neck depth for the front. Then cut the opening. So the four inches that I mark. So total for the opening for the front will be having seven inches. That's for the neck width to the neck depth for the front is seven inches, including the the opening. Then I will fold my fabric, a piece of fabric into two, place it under to cut facing for the front opening. You see the way I placed it, just follow through. I'm just going to cut that little excess there. Then I will open the, cell, the four inches that I also have on the fabric. I will open it on the, the facing too, right? The four inches. Then I will bring it out to trace 
how I want the facing to the wideness of the facing. So remember that these four inches that you have as the, the slit, you still need to give some excesses at the damp part, like three to four inches. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm, add, I'm having four inches. So I'll just cut it to the where I mark the my chalk on, right? So this will serve as my facing. I'm going to use this to turn the slit that I have on the front part. I'll open it up like this. This is the right side facing up. Then I will place the fabric, the pieces, right side facing down, which is right side facing each other. Then I'm going to go back to my sewing machine now and sew it like V, right? With half an inch. Then I'll turn it to the wrong side. After which I will place the front and back right side face each other. That's my back. Now place it right side face each other on the front. Then I will sew the shoulders first with half an inch. The half an inch that we added when we were cutting. So I'll sew it half an inch on both sides. Right? I'll do that to the both side of my, my slope. That is the shoulder. So here is it. I've already sewed the shoulders with my half an inch seam allowance. Then I've also turned the the opening at the front with the fabric we, that we cut earlier as facing. This is it. So I just place it right side facing each other this way. Then I sew it with half an inch. Right? I sew it with half an inch then top stitch on the facing this is the top stitch right just top stitch on the facing this way so then i flip it to the wrong side this is what we have now then so this is the ammo i've already turned this side now with my fabric right so you can go ahead to you you can use bias to turn this to turn the ammo or you can just fold in half an inch right then overlock it right but i use the same fabric to fold the ammo so what i did was that i just cut a long fabric this way then this is the ammo right this is the ammo so i just play this is the right side and this is the right side of my fabric i just place it right side face each other Start it from this edge this way, then I sew with half an inch this way all through to the, the other curve. After which, I just turn it this way, fold in quarter of an inch this way, then fold it again, right? So, sew this this way, fold quarter of an inch, then you fold it again. So, you have it this way as if you are taping it, right? So then I now sew on it all around. So that's what I did. And this is what I have, right? This is what I have very neat. This is the wrong side, right? So I'm going to do the same thing to this other side. Then the length of this gun, remember that it was 37, right? It's looking short. Because the person that owns this dress wants it to be very long. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be adding a little pleat at this damp part to make the length longer, right? Then I'll add pocket at the side. So I will just measure. I'll just place it again, right side face each other this way. I'm going to sew the side with my one inch seam allowance and I'll add pockets here. So I'll just sew it one inch this way, top stitch here. Then sew the pocket right this way, top stitch here. Then sew it to the damp part. I'll do the same thing to the other side. After which, I will add pleat. I'll just measure what, measure this round, right? Then I will times it by um, 2 or 1.5, right? Then what I have, that's what I'm going to cut by the desired length. So just do the same. Then I will just give it pretty small, small, small. You can even gather it right on it. So I will do that now. Then come back to show you how I'm going to cut the color.
So I've already finished sewing this other side too now. I've sewn this other side. So the both side now, the ammo have already been sewn. And I've also joined my pleats at this damp part. This is what we have now. So beautiful. So the next thing to do now is to sew the collar on the neck area, right? So what I'm going to do is this. This front opening, I'm going to hold it together this way. So I hold it together this way, then hold the center back to this way. In this way, I'm already sharing it to two. Then I'm going to take the measurements that I have here. I find it easy this way to get accurate measurements, right? So uh, taking it this way, I have nine and a half inches. So nine and a half inches is what I have here. So I'm going to use this to cut the collar. To make it easy for beginners, I'm going to do that on the pattern paper. After which I'll transfer it to my fabric, right? So here, I have a long paper this way. And I fold it into two. This is it. I'm going to pin it. So this is it now. The next thing to do now, I'm going to measure the nine and a half inches that I have. I'll measure it here. So this is it. So I'm starting the measurement from this folded part. So I'll measure the nine and a half inches this way. This is it. Then I'll mark half of the nine and a half inches, which is 4.75, which is here. Then on this place, I'm going to go up half an inch. This is it. Then I'll curve it to meet this midpoint here. So this is the curve, right? Then I want the collar to be one and a half inches long. So I'll mark the length of the collar. So I'll start it from this half an inch. I've already marked up here. So I'll go up with one and a half inches, which is here. I'll also come here to one and a half inches, which is here. I'll be covering it with each other. So here is what we have now. So, the next thing to do now, on this line here, I'm going to come in this way with half an inch. I'll mark it this way. And I'll curve it to make this. So, this is how to draft the color, right? You can actually cut this directly on your fabric by using your chalk to do all this thing I have done here. So I'm going to cut this color out and I use it to cut on my fabric. So I'll get a long fabric this way. Fold it into two. So this is the right side. I'll just fold it into two this way. Then this is it. I'm going to open it up this way. This is the color. So I'll place it this way. Then I'm going to add half an inch all around for seam allowance, right? So here is it. Now I've already add half an inch all around. So I'm going to cut it off. Now this is the center of the collar. This is the center. Just fold it into two. If you cannot see the mark, I just fold it into two this way. I will not shit now. So much this way. So now this side that is curved, well, that's where we are going to sew with half an inch. So what I'm going to do is that I'll go back to my ironing table. I'm going to iron stick on both sides. Then I'm going to go back to my sewing machine. Then sew this side that is curved. I'll sew it with half an inch. I'll sew it this way, starting from here. I'll sew here like this, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch this way to this place. Then I'll leave the side open. After which I'll come back to show you. So I've sewed it with half an inch this way. Right? So I'm going to trim this off. So just in case, if you measure what we have here now, we'll still be having our nine and a half inches. This is the nine and a half inches, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
bring it out, open it out like this. Then I'll give it a good press. So I'm going to sew one side to the main dress. This is our dress, right? So this is the center of the collar. And this is the center of the back side. You can notch it too. So this is the center of my back, of my clothes. So I'll place them right side face each other this way, right? So I'm just going to go back to my sewing machine now and sew this with half an inch all through to this front part, right? I'll sew it to this front part this way with half an inch. After which I'll turn it, then sew it again to stitch on it. So I'll, I'll be folding in half an inch this way, right? And I'll give it a good press. Then this other side is where I will sew first. Sew it in the neck of my dress all around. Then this other side that I that I fold, I will not turn it to use it to sew it all around. So I will do that now. And this was the end result of the dress we have made. Thank you so much for watching to this point. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next one. Bye.